out before the sun. Check it out. Ain't many people in the beach here either. Look at that. Up before the sun. The sun hadn't even come up. Isn't that beautiful? Got a few people here waiting for the sunrise. Otherwise, the beaches are clear. Just a few waiting on the sun. Beautiful out here. Another golden day. All right, there we go. Beautiful sunrise. We've dug in a few coins so far, but uh, not, no gold yet. But we just got a hit here. Let's see where it's at here. There it is. 2930. All right. Everybody should know by now what that is, right? Everybody knows what that is. Uh-oh. A little bit deeper than I thought. Nice. The tone, you can tell the tones are not quite as strong, so it's probably down here. Ah, five, four or five inches. Yeah, even deeper, maybe. I'm just kidding. That's my third shovel for it. I'm going down, shoot, at least uh, ten inches now. And it's still down there. Goodness, I know it is a quarter. We gotta get this one. Might be multiple targets. Let's see what we got here. No? No targets I never seen like it changed on me. How deep this thing is. Ugh. Man, I don't know if this is multiple targets. Nope. There's only one target down there. It sounds like it's going deeper though. I think I missed it and it kind of got sucked under. Ah, we got it, I think. Finally got it. About 10 shovelfuls. Yeah. Well, it's not a quarter like I thought it was. Not sure what it is. I see it down there, though. What is it? Oh, it's a bottle opener. Look at that. Oh, man. All that work for that. Maybe it's a cool bottle opener. Kind of cool looking. All right. Let's bag it and move on. All right, we just took six coins right here in this little circle right here, and look at this. I see a quarter sitting down there on top right there. It definitely had a little coin spill right here. Um, you got to keep checking when you hit these ones. You get one coin, most of the time is more in the area. So always double check the area when you get a hit. All right, I see a little bang on the surf. Check it out. Is it real? That must be an earring. That's a huge earring, isn't it? But I see some rust on it, so I don't think it's going to be real. Well, it's pretty, isn't it? Awesome. Let's bag it and move on. All right, it's like a metal detector for Union down here. We got detectors everywhere up here. Working the sand, working the beach, working everywhere. And I know there's a couple more down here that I'm meeting, and another guy just passed us. They're everywhere. It's a reunion, I think. But we'll see who finds some gold today. We got the dock down here, too. What's up, Jimmy, sir? You got Jimmy here? Jimmy Dillon? Danny's down there. Everybody. Everybody's here. We got the doc here. We got Jimmy oh Dillon. I got a couple boys in here. Everywhere. The doc says he's found something already this morning. Oh, look at that. That's a big one. That's a big, heavy duty gold. Look at that. That's beautiful, man. Awesome. Good, good find, doc. Awesome, man. Thank nice. You. Thank you. Man, well, I got to find me some gold. I'm getting a dry spill. I'm in a dry spill. Got to find them. All right, let's see what Jimmy's got over here. Oh, we got something in the sand. I see some gold, but the number it was giving me does not look like it's going to be gold because it was like a 21, like a penny. Look at that. That's pretty, though. It sure does look gold. We'll have to test that when we get home. Maybe. Who knows? All right, let's bag it up. All right, and there's still no gold yet. Just took my first quarter. And there's Denny right there. He had him a little coin spill there. He had four dimes, a nickel, and one scoop. 
he's been digging coins in one little area right there for a little while. So he dug out and how many coins. And the doc actually said he got like seven dollars and quarters in one spot. So you get these little coin spills all over the place. It's really interesting how you end up with these uh, little pockets full of coins. You always got to check. All right, get your stuff ordered. Let's go. All right, Denny just dug a nice bangle. Check it out. That's beautiful, Denny. Actually, it's pretty good shape. Yeah. I think somebody might like that. I didn't push it. We're thinking it might not be real because of the numbers he's getting on his detector, but you never know. Definitely got to check it when he gets home for sure. Good job, man. All right, thanks. All right, not sure what this is. Could be a dollar coin. Sacagawea, I think they call it, maybe. That'd be kind of cool if it is. I'm not sure, though. Could be a foreign coin, too, so we we'll have to put that in the bag and check it when we get it. Get back home. Check it out. I don't know what it is yet, but I see a ring. And I see something holding something. It could be diamond. Oh, my God. Let's check it out. Woo, baby. Look. Could it be real? Oh, my God. If that's real, that is a like a one carat. Oh, my God. I hope that's real. Oh my god, let's wash that off. Oh crap. Oh my god, this is awesome. Oh man, if that's real, I, it can't be real. It can't be, can it? Oh my god. Let's get a little bit of water down here and wash it off. Oh my god, I gotta look at it. Holy smoke, if that's real, that is unbelievable. I just can't believe that's real. No way. Oh my god, that is big. That is a clear clear too. I don't know. It could be real. I hope so. That is beautiful. Awesome. Alright, it's starting to pour down rain right now. People are running off the beach and not many people here yet. Still pretty early. But uh, some people are packing up and leaving already. But I don't think it's going to last too long. But it's coming down pretty good right now. Alright, we got us a little rain jacket on. Try to stop some of it. I see another target in the sand, and it's a chain. I can tell anything on it. Is there anything on that chain? Is it silver or is it gold? It broke. I can see where it broke while they lost it. But uh, I can't tell what it is yet. All right, we'll have to start bringing out loot so we can read this stuff. That could be sterling, though. No question, that could be sterling right there. That looks nice right there. Look at that. Beautiful, man. Oh, I love it. Got a ring and a chain now. Awesome. Alright, check this out. These were some deep glasses. These glasses were like, I don't know, foot down. They don't look too bad though. We'll save them and see if we can clean them up. Alright, I think we got some bracelets here. Check it out. That is one big bracelet there. Heavy too. Got to be copper though. Unfortunately, it's not gold. But we'll take it. We'll clean it up. Somebody might want it. Awesome. I will call that a wrap. We did get silver today. Sterling silver. I'm almost sure. 99 percent Sure looks like it. Uh, Doc got gold again. Doc is tearing the gold up. We'll check his picture his out and uh, see what Denny got and do a wrap up when we get home. All right, pack your stuff up and let's go. It was like a metal detector's reunion down there today. Must have been at least 10 people down there metal detector. Uh, the only gold I saw was was Doc. The only sterling silver I saw was mine. Let's check it out right now. Uh, all right, let's take a big overview here. I like doing that. All right, we got some sunglasses. And they look like they're in really good shape. So we might have to save those. A tent pig, uh, the regular bottle top, still kind of playing with those. Uh, these things here, they always give you that good reading right there. Like gold on that thing. Uh, about five dollars and change or we did get one special coin. Look at that. Anybody know what that is? A dollar. Sacagawea dollar. That's pretty cool. I don't, I've only found I think one other one of those before. Out of all the coins I've ever found, I don't think one other one. So that, they're pretty rare. Um, and like I say, about five bucks with that one in there. And we got some other uh, junk jewelry too. We got, I thought this could be gold. It looks really good on back. Uh, but I, I test it's not. You can look at this and tell that's uh, some kind of copper, I think. Big old brace is heavy. This is sterling silver. It's got 925 written right on it. That's sweet. And this is a what, what uh, Greg did call a three nitro pill right there. I hit that thing. Oh my God. I thought I had me a good diamond solitaire. 
But I got home here and tested it, and it didn't test good. It's still pretty. I mean, you can still use it, but it's not gold and diamonds, though, unfortunately. Dang, I was hoping that one would be. Uh, bottle cap opener. This is an earring. Uh, I can see a little bit of rustle on the edge, so we know that's not. This is actually a, a it's got five written on it. It's from Co Croatia. I could read the letters on it and type it in. It says Croatia, town in Croatia or something. So I knew it wasn't a penny because the reading on it was not what a penny should be. So I knew it wasn't a penny when I, when I actually dug it. So. All right, I want to give y'all an update on what Doc and Denny found too. Uh, this first picture here is Doc's finds, and check it out. He got a beautiful 14 karat gold ring and a piece of a 10 karat gold chain. So he hit two golds today, and the other ring that I think is a tungsten ring. But that's awesome. Good job, Doc. And on this next picture, we got um, Denny's finds. Uh, Denny didn't have any gold today or silver, but he did find some change. Look at the amount of change. I think he said it was like $15. I don't think I've ever found that much change uh, on the beach at one time before. That is awesome right there. All right, we're going to try to probably hit him up again uh, tomorrow. All right, stay tuned. Anyway, uh, that's going to wrap it up for today. Uh, it's getting really hot out there now for sure, but we're going to go ahead and Work on our relic recovery boat here. I still haven't figured out a name. I appreciate all the names y'all been sending in. Me and my wife have a blast reading them and looking at them. It's, it's really funny. It makes our day, so I appreciate that. Uh, but we're going to try to work on a couple other things on the boat. i got to get a bilge pump mounted and get my GPS mounted on it. So anyway, we're going get, to get going on that, so that would be ready for us here. Um, and uh, I think that's going to get us caught up. Uh, appreciate everybody uh, coming along. Uh, please click like. Comment below, share, and subscribe to the Gig Master. Thanks for coming along.